Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you some features of copy and paste on the Mac that you may not know about. Now, copy and paste is one of the most basic parts of using Mac OS or any computer operating system. But there are lots of hidden features that you may not know about. For instance, when you copy something, like let me copy this paragraph here in pages, you can use, of course, edit copy or command C to copy. If you ever wanna see what's in the clipboard, perhaps before you paste, there is a way. You gotta to switch to the finder. So I'm gonna click on the desktop here and you could see here at the top left, I've switched to the finder. Now go to edit and there's an option here for show clipboard. This brings up a window that shows you what's in the clipboard. It will stay there, although it's only visible when you are in the finder. So if I switch back to pages, then it's not there anymore. And it will show more than just text. For instance, I'll select this object here and I'll copy, and then I'll switch back using the app switcher to finder. And you could see now the clipboard window displays what's in it, even though it's an image. The one problem people often have with copy and paste is that it takes not just the text, but the styling as well. So I've got this text selected here in Safari on a web page. I'm going to use Command C to copy, and then I'm going to switch to Mail where I'm composing a message. If I just use Command V or Edit Paste to paste it, you could see it brings with it the coloring and styling of the text. However, you can go to Edit, and if you look carefully, you'll see Paste and Match Style. This is the equivalent to converting the text to plain text and then pasting it in, adopting whatever style happens to be what you're using at the cursor right now. So if I put this in there like that, you can see it retains the style that I was using. You'll find this in a lot of other apps as well. For instance, in pages here, you can see paste and match style is there also. Sometimes in some apps, you have to hold down the option key and it will show you this option as an alternative to paste. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2000 others that support Mac most at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. Now, sometimes there are alternative copy and paste functions. For instance, I can select this text here, and then instead of going to the edit menu, I can go to the format menu, and there I'll find copy style, option command C. Then I could select other texts like this paragraph here, and go to format and paste style or option command V. And it won't replace the text, it'll replace the styling for the text. Here I am in photos, and I can go into this photo to edit it, click the edit button and I can make adjustments. For instance, I'll make some lighting adjustments and color adjustments like this and then click done. And now I'll see the changes here for this photo. With that photo selected, instead of going to edit, I can go to image and there's an option for copy edit, shift command C in this case. And it gives me some options here on exactly what I wanna copy. I'll copy and then I'll select this image here and I'll do image and then paste edit and you could see how this one will change to reflect that. It's a great way to get a series of photos to have all of the same adjustments. In addition to using copy and paste for things like text, images, and objects inside of apps, you can also use it in the finder for files. So I can go into a folder here like this one, and I could select this file here and use edit, copy. Then I could go to another folder like this one here, and I could edit, paste, now this will make a copy of the item and put it here. So now I'll have two copies of the file. But if I hold the option key down, then this changes to move item here. So command C for copy and then option command V to paste will actually take the item out of its original location and place it in the new location. And it works for multiple files too. A great alternative to drag and drop when you can't easily see both locations at the same time. You can also use the clipboard with the terminal. So I'm gonna copy this text here in pages, and then I'm going to switch to terminal. If I wanna see what's in the clipboard, I can use PB paste, and that shows me the contents of the clipboard. You can also send results from a shell script or command line into the clipboard. So for instance, if I do LS, I get a listing of the files in the current directory. If I do LS and then use the pipe symbol, I can send into the clipboard using PB copy. So this command, lists the files, but puts it into the clipboard instead. So now when I do Command-V to paste, that's what I get. When you do screenshots, you can choose the clipboard as a destination for the screenshot. So you can do this using Shift-Command-5, and then you pick Capture Entire Screen, Selected Window, or Selected Portion, and under Options, I'm gonna choose Clipboard as the destination. 
So now instead of it appearing as a floating thumbnail and then going to a file location, when I capture, it just goes straight into the clipboard. And now I can paste it wherever I want, like in this mail composition window, like that. In system settings, if you go to keyboard and then keyboard shortcuts and then to screenshots, you'll see that there are two keyboard shortcuts that pertain to going directly to the clipboard as well. Now, sometimes you'll find you can't copy text. Like for instance, here in this system settings window, there's no way to copy this text here if I wanted to paste it somewhere. But you can use screenshots to take care of this. So I'm gonna use Shift Command 5, and then I'm going to switch to any one of these. I'm gonna use entire screen here. Set the option to desktop or any file location. It doesn't matter because I'm not gonna save it. Then I'm going to make sure show floating thumbnails turned on. I'm gonna click capture and then click the floating thumbnail. Now it's an image that I'm previewing. I haven't saved it yet, but notice in this mode, you can actually select text and then use command C to copy. You don't have to save the screenshot. I can just click the trash can icon there at the top. It's not saved anywhere, but now when I go to paste, you can see it pastes in that text. It's actually interpreted the pixels in the screenshot as text. So you may wanna to check to make sure it's accurate, but it's a great way to deal with text that you could not normally select. Now let's say there's some text in a document and you wanna copy that text. Normally you would open it up in whatever app you use to work with it, but you don't have to do that as long as you can view the document with Quick Look. So I've selected this in the finder. I'm gonna press space bar here and now I'm using Quick Look. If I were to scroll to the text that I want and then use the text cursor in here, I can select text and use Command C to copy from Quick Look without ever opening the document up. And then I can paste it where I need. Now you don't always need to copy and paste if you wanna duplicate something. You can select something like text here and then start dragging it. Hold the Option key down while dragging and wherever you place it, Instead of moving it, you could see it makes a copy and puts it there. This works in a variety of different situations in different apps. So for instance, dragging an object around just moves it, but option dragging will create a copy and then you can drop it where you need. Now probably the best feature of copy and paste in the Apple ecosystem is the ability to copy and paste between devices. A lot of people still don't know this is possible. There's really nothing you even need to do to enable it. As long as you're using the same Apple ID across the devices, if you've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on, then it should just work. So for instance, on my iPhone here, I'm going to select and then copy some text. And then here on my Mac, in a completely different app, I'm gonna use Command V to paste. And you can see it pastes what I copied from my iPhone to the app on my Mac. And it works the other way as well, works between two Macs, works between the iPhone and iPad, everything. And one last trick is that your Mac actually has two different clipboards. It has the regular one that we've been using all along, but there's also this text clipboard that goes back to the early days of computing. You can use it still in all the modern apps. So for instance, if you wanna select some text here, you can use control, that's control, not command, and K. And this will basically cut the text that's selected. And then you can use control and Y to paste it back in. This is a separate clipboard from the regular one. So even if you've copied something else into the clipboard, that isn't touched. This one works separate from that and it works just with text. Now I can't talk about copy and paste without at least mentioning clipboard managers. These allow you to keep a history of what's in the clipboard. So you can copy several things and then paste something that was three or four copies back. Clipboard managers are third-party apps, but there are tons of different ones, many that have been around for a long time, some that are even free. And of course, I have to mention my own clip tools that you can get in the App Store, and then it appears here in the menu bar, keeps a history, has a ton of different functions. It's completely free, no ads, no in-app purchases, nothing like that. So get clip tools or any other clipboard manager that you prefer if you want a history for your clipboard. I usually don't recommend third-party apps unless they're absolutely necessary. But if you work with documents a lot, I think a clipboard manager is something that you should have. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.